Hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Um, today is something else than the other times, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and you uh, maybe ask why I speak English. Uh, that's because I make a tutorial in English for one of the people that watch my videos and sorry for my bad English I'm a yeah I'm German <laughs> what shall I say so um, first of all <clears throat> uh, what tutorial is uh, you know that it, it, it's in the title <clears throat> for uh, Edo Pro how to put my cards in, uh, in there there are uh, two methods how we can do that the first method method is pretty simple but maybe tricky whatever so uh, first of all you go on my site or to one of my custom card videos and download the deck you want so I have uh, my magma deck here um, in German because I had that on my desktop right now so I took that um, first of all you go to your project Ignis folder you should find it on your hard drive somewhere where you installed it and you go to expansions okay you see the cdb uh, files now you open the zip file wait a minute so and put the pack.cdb just in there boom so now the database for the cards is inside the game. So the game should know. Oh, cool. But we don't see them right now and they won't work. So we go back to the project in this folder and in the script folder. There you can make uh, other folders if you want to sort it a little bit. But nonetheless, you open the script folder and put these scripts just inside there uh, for me it's not uh, really necessary I have all them in the game already so we go back that was that was too much wait sorry I open it again <laughs> uh, my mouse uh, makes double clicks sometimes even if I don't want it so we go back and open the pick folder so in uh, Project Ignis as well, go to the PIX folder and just put the PIX inside there. Yeah, I have them already, so ignore it. So now the card should be in the game. Um, so another thing, how you can put my cards in the game. Um, this variant put every card that I did on uh, my YouTube channel and some more from our YouTube channels uh, out there um, all at once so um, like Rising Phoenix and some anime channel I don't remember I try to put it uh, put the link in the description uh, if I don't forget it <laughs> so um, the other way you can add them to add the cards is to open the config folder and go into configs.json so that may be a little bit uh, <clears throat> uh, worse I, I don't remember the word I need it right now so you see there's project Ignis etc pp <clears throat> and um, you put that just inside there, uh, like like it's shown here. I try to put um, what's written here also in the description, so you just can copy and paste it inside this file. And if that's finished, you can save it and close it, of course. So just save, close. So, and if you did that, you can open Project Ignis, just takes a little bit <laughs> on my PC, why ever. Project Ignis open, please, thanks. So, and if that happens, uh, ignore how it's shown by me right now, you can go up here to respiratories and you will see how uh, um, 
here, Chrome scripts that will at the start be at zero, but uh, it downloads the cast from GitHub. So um, when that's finished, then there should be every card, cards of mine inside there. I uh, know I don't want to delete, so you can just activate alternate formats, scroll down, wait, waste, there's something wrong. Ah, now, <laughs> sorry. So I get to get to custom and there you see all of my cards are in there. Um, they may be some in German, but uh, yeah, I can't change that right now. But most of them uh, should be in English. Uh, some of the cards you see there like that won't, won't be there, but uh, that's something else. There you can go to Orbitine. It's another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber that makes custom cards and something like that. So, um, yeah, then you can build decks like, yeah, here my Magma deck. Just put the cards in, in there. Then you can play with test hand. You can see, works, even if I bricked, whatever. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the bad part about that is you can't play them online because they're not on the servers, but you can play with friends over LAN with uh, programs like Hamachi, that, or if you're in the same room, per LAN, can play, but uh, your opponent needs to have the, the cards too. Um, if they don't have the cards, they won't see them. They will still work if you host, but uh, your opponent won't see them. Um, and that would be pretty bad. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun for your opponent at least. So uh, I think, uh, I hope uh, the tutorial was good enough. When not, you can, uh, you guys can ask me in uh, the description, in the comments below, uh, once you want to know. I try to answer in my English, my bad English, but uh, yeah, whatever. I hope the tutorial helped. If not, I'm sorry, but I tried. <laughs> and I will see you next time, guys. But in German. <laughs>